Well, history is expected to be made when President Obama meets face to face with Cuban President Raul Castro. The two already exchanged a phone call ahead of the America summit in Panama, and now, hypothetically, if a Republican was commander in chief, would such a meeting be happening? And would there have been any changes to the U.S. embargo on Cuba? For that perspective, joining me is Lonnie Chen, Stanford's Hoover Institute fellow, is with me again. Um, you also served as Mitt Romney's policy director of policy during his presidential campaign. Okay, so what happens if he was president? Would this have happened? No. No, I mean this is a this is a total sea change in U.S. policy. Uh, I think, unfortunately, a change in the wrong direction. What you have with Cuba policy uh, is essentially what you've seen across many of the different foreign policy challenges America's faced over the last couple of years, which is to say, we give and the other side gets. Whether it's Cuba or the Iran deal, I think you have a very similar theme here. So, with your insight into the Republican Party, I mean, do other Republican candidates, senators, House leaders agree with you? You know, I think most Republicans are on the same page. That having been said, there are some that have expressed an openness to dealing with Cuba. I, I, I think the issue is whether we deal with Cuba. I think the question is always what's the prerequisite for that? And I think that's where the debate comes because President Obama has basically said we're willing to drop all of our pressure points in return for a dialogue with the Cubans. And I think a lot of Republicans would say, no, we've got to keep the pressure on in the hopes that we can have a more rational discussion with them down the road. Which, of course, is what we're seeing with the Iran no negotiations uh, right now within Congress. So does this all change if we get a Republican president? It very well could, depending on which one. With Rand Paul, I think the approach you would see is probably very similar to the kinds of approaches you're seeing now. If it's someone like Jeb Bush or Marco Rubio or even Scott Walker, we're going to see a more muscular U.S. foreign policy, and that's going to change the way that we deal with Cuba and certainly with Iran. So maybe like walk back what's happening with Cuba right now? Is that, is that, is that It's entirely depending? possible. It's wow. entirely possible. You want to remember, Congress is the one that's got to lift the embargo. The president can only say we want to open up uh, diplomatic channels, have an embassy, things like that. But the actual meat of the Cuba relationship still lies with Congress. So the president could very easily walk it back. Wow. All right, Lonnie, you're sticking with me for a few more minutes because coming up, Hillary Clinton gets in on the Iron Throne action this Sunday when she launches her 2016